Originally, I just wanted to be a musician. I had no ambition to be a designer or artist. But having said that, I regularly think 15-year-old me would have been stoked. So even though it wasn't my initial ambition, it was certainly something that I would have maybe aspired to be had I known it was an option. My name's Tom Gordon and I'm a freelance art director specialising in artwork for the entertainment industry. Back when I was in secondary school, I went to Churston Grammar. My art teacher at the time showed me an artist called Roger Dean seeing music-related artwork. That was a huge inspiration for me going forward. I started out doing artwork for concerts and bands. Whilst I was at uni, I managed to transition into the music industry properly where I started doing artwork for bands like Blink-182 and Pearl Jam. Mainly when I started, one of the main managers I had back of me was a chap called Randy. He manages a band called Under Oath. He was really keen to get me on board and kind of nurtured me into that industry by sort of saying, okay, that's really great. I'm going to connect you with this person. Fast forward a few years, kind of, that is genuinely how I got every single contact I have. I didn't necessarily get found on the internet for anything. So normally I have a very limited amount of time to do each project. So I will find out what I'm doing maybe a day or two before I'm actually working on it because the way the music industry is, it's all very short notice. We need it now, we need it yesterday. I mainly use Photoshop for my artwork as opposed to Illustrator just purely because it's my comfortable software that I have been using since I was a teenager. I do a lot of different types of artwork. Sometimes I might have particular assets to work with, so The Walking Dead would send me a lot of photographs that I can work with and manipulate, so I'd make something like that. Or other times, you know, this, this was a tree that was outside the front of my house, so I, I just went out took a photo on my phone, brought it back into Photoshop and uh, yeah, <laughs> put, put some red filter over it and that's that design. Again, you know, using a camera, I have my own hands or the sky, just stuff like that, you know, it really varies project to project, like how hands-on it is. Uh, and obviously there's some other stuff like, uh, you know, Britney Spears, it's just a photo and then I just find ways to make it as interesting as possible or I might illustrate something basic. Fortunately, doing my job, I've managed to work with most of my favourite artists. Uh, last year, I got to tick off one of the last ones on my list, which was Fleetwood Mac, which was a huge moment for me. Uh, so now I just have one band left that I haven't worked with, which is Sigur Ross. So hoping that actually happens at some point, but that, if, if that happens, I will be done with the bucket list, you know. Obviously, working in the music industry, there's a lot of sort of allure to go towards the bigger cities like London, New York and stuff. But the reason I wanted to stay in Torbay is, you know, having grown up here, it's, it's definitely, it's a different pace of life. And I think the relaxed way that I can sort of switch between working and then going out to the beach or driving up to the moors. For me that was definitely the appeal and that sort of grounded me in the area and, and, and there's so many wonderful creatives that also live here. Uh, yeah, just proud to be a part of that really.